In this video we're going to show you step by step how to install the Hills Rotary 450. For this installation you'll need a post hole digger or shovel, stays and pegs, a level, a tape measure, a hammer, a shovel and some rope or tape. You'll also need some concrete, some dry gravel as well as some water and something to mix your concrete in. The first step is to find your location. Open the box and consult the manual. Talk with the customer to find the optimum position, being on the lookout for trees and other obstacles that may interfere with the rotation of the line. You'll need a 4.5 metre diameter of garden space and a height of 3.4 metres. Once you've found your location, use the post hole digger or shovel to dig the hole to a depth of 650 millimetres and a diameter of at least 250 millimetres. Next, fill the hole with 210 millimetres of dry gravel. Now retrieve the grey sleeve from the box and fit it into the ground, checking the levels on both sides. Fit the lower arm into the hole and fasten it in place with the stays. Be careful to make sure that the lower arm is level, as once the concrete is in place, there will be no changing it. The next step is to mix your concrete and pour it into the hole. For the purposes of this demonstration, we've used quick setting concrete. The manufacturer recommends that you use a standard 24 hour setting mix. This will ensure the necessary lasting structural integrity. Remember to wash away any cement that sticks to the pole before it dries. Once it's set, it's hard to get off. Make sure once again that the stand is upright and leave it for 24 hours. When you return the next day, remove the pegs and connect the main upper arm assembly. Next, check with the client to make sure that the height is satisfactory. This will be roughly 50 millimeters above the average user's head. If the line is too low, lift the main assembly arm out of the socket and place in one of the grey height adjusters provided. Now, retest the height with the customer, clean the area, and you're done.